Yep. Okay, you can see how much flare is in this foot by the space that's in between there. If uh, I let her toes be as long as they naturally were, I don't know if I can do it um, because it wouldn't be to here, wouldn't go to there. It'd be the angle of here out to here. You see that? That's how long her toes would actually be there. And you can see how much leverage there'd be that would continue from here pulling this wall out that way. Okay, so she, she's got pretty tight growth about to here, about to where that first ring is. When all's said and done, her toe will naturally go to the ground right about where I've cut it here. Okay, cool. Thanks, Leah. See, now I want to demonstrate some things on rasping. As much as possible, you want to leave your rasp flat. But you also don't want to rasp off the toe here, right there. Okay? Um, so first you want to do your heels. And, and can you see what I'm doing here? You let the rasp do the work. Now this is a very rusty, dull rasp, but I'm still going to let it do the work. I'm just letting it do the work. If you're going like this, you're pushing too hard. Now even though I got it set down, as flat as I can, I'm not really hitting this side here. So I'm just going smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the other side a bit. Sometimes I'll get down and hold the foot like this, push it up like that, it's just easier. But keep your ass flat. Okay, that's about all I'm going to do there. Now you see how I've cleaned out what they call the seat of the corn right here inside the white line. And you see how it's about the same on both sides I got here. Okay, again, I'm not taking her all the way down because I'm waiting for more connection in the toe here before I do that. Um, eventually her heels will come down a lot more and we'll get her frog straightened out and everything like that. I'm also not going to pick out all this stuff here because it's giving her some added support where she don't have frog. So, uh, Linda, uh huh. why didn't you uh, cut this little ring here uh, again? Because um, I'm trying to, my main purpose right now is to grow this toe out. And so I'm not too much worrying about any of this separation right here. Okay. Um, on the next trim, perhaps I'll get some more of this. <laughs> this out right here. You can see she's developed a toe callus right here. See the lump? Yep. To protect that toe. Oops. Okay. Now I'm gonna check to see my heels just by putting the like that and sliding down like this. Ooh, look how flat they are. Yeah. Um, I'm a little higher over here, so I'm going to take a little off this whole side over here. And usually you find that's where you get higher. See, I haven't got too bad a white line. There's a little stretch in there, but not too bad, not compared to what it was. I got a little more over here. Now I'm going to bring my rasp over here and just pull it towards me. Try and keep it flat. There. Again, it's not that pretty, but I don't want to take everything off. We're, we're trying to straighten this foot up. And she's got a little bit of asymmetrical stuff going on over here, probably because she's high over here and jammed into the cornet band. But that's something that's been going on with her for a while. And again, on the next trim, I'll probably, the toe will be grow down quite a bit. 
and uh, then I'll start getting the heels and everything else the way I want it. Now, ideally, if she could be out somewhere <coughs> and somebody treating these frogs every day, that'd be great, but uh, that might not, not happen here. Uh, I'm going to talk to Larry, the owner, and see if he can pull her out and treat her frogs with some thrush buster or something every day. That would help her a lot in getting them frogs going again. Okay. Okay, now, you got me going? Yeah. Sometimes I, I don't use rasp. I could have just used this too, but I wanted to show you about rasping. finish it off from the top see I've got you know I've got a little separation there but as I said right now I'm not worrying about that as much as getting this toe connected and shortened up okay clean her up on front a little bit I'll show you how I do that with grinder you can do it with rasp give me your foot here, come up front, honey. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Oh, this is going to be much easier anyway. Get a picture. off of that and uh, there's enough taken off to where as it grows out until the next trim you're never gonna have any leverage on that toe is it the prettiest thing in the world <laughs> no it's not but in you know pretty comes later after you grow out a new hoof <sighs> thank you Leah <laughs> 